Confessions of people who have been single their whole life. Get ready. Some are quite disturbing. Welcome to Foggy Nights. I'm 40, and I've never even held hands with anyone. No dates, no kissing, no sex, no sexting, nothing. I just never worked up the courage. I've never been on the same page as anyone at the same time I was. As I get older, and the more people around me that keep on settling down, it's starting to get harder. At this point, in stage in life, I'm too used to freedom and never having to compromise, so I think I'd struggle to accommodate someone this late in the game, but at the same time I feel that some companionship would help me not to go astray. It's just like I don't exist, I'm not even here. If people see me in a romantic way, I don't do anything, they don't do anything and I seem to only fall in love for people I can't have. It's just the way it's always been, and the way it probably always will be. At this point, I really believe I'm gonna end up dying alone. I'm 26, and I've never been in a relationship. People put these time frames on when you should have your first kiss, or boyfriend, or when to have sex. I didn't have the typical teenage experience when it came to dating. People assumed that I was always so lonely because I haven't been in a relationship. But really, I feel fine. And I'm finally capable of being able to be happy by myself. It's so hard to keep my hands off myself. I, I don't know how to let someone else touch me. I just turned 23, and no, I've never been in a relationship. As more of my friends and my significant others, and even some of my former partners, keep on doing it, I just feel so left behind. I find myself thinking I'm a third or fifth will in a lot of the parties and events that I go to, and it gets pretty hard sometimes. I feel like there's a part of me that's missing, and I'm not really sure how to fix that part of me at this point. I mean, my heart's still beating, but being in a bad relationship once or twice and like that, my friends come to me for advice about their relationships, and I don't even know why. So I guess you can say I've had some relationships, but I'm sick of having my jaw broke. I'm a 27-year-old university student. No, I've never been in a relationship, and I don't plan on being in one either. I decided at maybe 14, I never wanted to get married. Partly because of my emotional, physical, psychological abuse that I experienced in early childhood, it was a disaster. Ultimately, it comes down to wanting to feel full and whole, and complete. But I don't think I can maintain a relationship now. I feel content the way I am and don't feel like I need to change anything about my relationship status to achieve happiness. So, as long as I have the dog and the cat in the backyard where I can visit them whenever I want, that's all the company I need. Funny how they often come in at night and visit me. No, I'm not gonna share what I mean. I'm in my late 50s and really have never been in a serious relationship. Dating is worse than torture for me. 
dating is far worse. I have borderline personality disorder. And while I desperately wanted to be with someone, it is just too complicated. They don't know when I'm myself and when I'm a different personality. And when I'm that different personality for me, I don't even remember what happened. So to come back to myself and to find my girlfriend crouching down in a corner in the kitchen, holding a knife, screaming, please stop. Well, I think you get the point. I'm 31 and I've never been in a relationship. I've never really been very interested. And I don't know anyone who has ever been interested in me. So, it just never happened. But now that I'm older, it does feel harder. I kind of want someone around. I want someone here. When it's dark and lonely at night, with my paranoid schizophrenia, and the house starts settling and creaking and making sounds, I just wish I had someone to hold, someone to hold me. I'm mostly scared at night when I'm alone, but I'm so used to having my independence that I can't even let anyone in. So I'm scared to be alone, but I can't let anyone in. I've accepted that I'll always just be by myself. I'll always be alone. I'm probably gonna die alone. And I have to just start being okay with that. What do you think? Okay, so I'm turning 31 next year and I've never had a real relationship. I haven't dated in over six years. I haven't been interested in anyone in the last five years because I'm so focused on bettering myself in my own life and making myself happy. On top of that, I'm plus size. I always have been. And I've had to heal from a lot of childhood trauma and abuse. I'm a firm believer that things do happen for a reason and we don't always know why. We, don't, we, we never know why that reason is. So I've learned to just focus on myself, my health, and living the best life I can. I still get asked why I haven't found anyone as of yet. And in the past, I would say I just haven't found that person yet. Or men suck. But now I answer with, I'm enjoying this time. That I have to learn who I am and what I need what I want, where I want to be, and where I want to go. Okay, I'm gonna be 30 soon. And the serious reason I haven't been in a serious relationship is because I'm just too damn selfish, honestly. I'm way too selfish. Way too selfish. <laughs> Not in a bad way. I do suffer from anxiety. I have major depressive disorder. And I'm a little bit autistic. So, I couldn't handle thinking about someone else when I have all that to deal with by myself. It wouldn't be fair or right to put someone else through that. I don't want to bring another person into my drama. Which is also the reason I don't plan on having children. And I'm fine with that. I'm 37. And I never had a relationship. I'm open to it. But talking to friends, co-workers, even a therapist now and then about it. And dating life. It's just too much. I think I'm just more happy with my cat and my dog. The thing is, I'm not gonna rush to settle for something or someone that's not right for me when it seems that I can get more love, companionship, understanding. I sort of need protection too. And I need respect. I get it from my canines and my cat. I get it from them. so I don't need it from my spouse.
you know, it's just way too overwhelmingly lonely. I have too high standards for someone like me, and I refuse to settle. You know, I found this realization about six years ago that I'd probably be better off single for the rest of my life. Therefore, I'll never truly be happy. And I've been fighting depression ever since. So why do I continue to accept this realization when it's making me so ill? I'm 28 and I've never been kissed. I've never held a hand. I didn't even, I've never even hugged someone of the opposite sex. See, I grew up religious and I was always told not to touch the opposite gender. Now it's become a problem where I can't even get into a relationship. I don't know how. I've been axed out, but I'd never accept. There are multiple factors contributing to this. Some I'm perfectly fine with and others I'm not so fine with. I went to a much, much smaller school growing up and I had no interest in dating anyone from the high school that I went to who I had also been in kindergarten and middle school with. So I've known these people my entire life. It sucks. I also just learned in my mid-twenties that I'm demisexual, so I have zero interest in any sort of casual relationship. Now you can throw on top of it a mountain of a lack of self-confidence, self-esteem, self-worth, self-value. It's so hard to even look at myself in the mirror because I feel so, so ugly and unworthy of being loved. I don't like when my dad finds me in the bathroom cutting my wrist with a knife. When all it is is to just want to know what it's like to be loved by someone outside of my home. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm working on it. I just turned 20, never had a relationship, I never dated or anything. I don't mind being single, I don't mind focusing on myself, I don't feel the need to actively look for someone to date or be in a relationship with. I think it will happen when it happens. Until then, I'll focus on whatever else is going on in my life and whatever else is going on around me. Besides. If I was dating someone who would do all the cooking for my family, I guess this is my life. So I'm 27, and no, I've never been in a serious relationship, but I want one. I've gone on dates, I've done hookups, I've done online chatting, online sexting and texting and everything else you could think of. You name it, I've done it. But a relationship? Never. And that's where the emptiness lies. You know, it's funny how you can take a girl out, buy her dinner, take her to her movie, and do all the things just to get her clothes off. And she gets your clothes off. And you do the do. But then afterwards, or the next morning, either you're gone or she's gone because you keep on self-sabotaging every single time you think you might be getting ready to like someone or fall in love with them and again this is where the emptiness lies I'm tired of that now I feel like my soul is breaking apart in my body I feel like something is wrong with me I feel like I'm either too fat too ugly too short I don't know I just throw my hands up in the air if I really think about it I get really, really depressed at times. Man, I've been suicidal, thinking I will be alone forever. Even my dad says, guess I'm not getting any grandkids. I've 
tried multiple dating sites, it always just turns into hookups. So at this point in time, I don't really want to see vag pics or pics of someone's body. It's just all I know. It's all I've been exposed to. And when I'm trying to have a real conversation or connection with a girl when I like her, I just don't know how. <sighs> it's harder than you think. I see my coworkers, my friends, my cousins, my brother, my sister. Everyone around me seems like they're just moving along, finding significant others. <sighs> I'm not sure why I feel like I can't just be with one person. Hey, I'm in my late 20s. When I was younger, I was obsessed with wanting a relationship. And I've been through chasing prospects who never made the first move, any move at all. I've been through online dating, which seems nice at first, until every guy asks for nudes and wants to talk not so much and see more of my body. I always show it, but now I'm starting to get tired of that because I just feel like a piece of meat. And I'm not a... I'm not just a piece of meat. I'm not just a piece of meat. I'm a person. I have feelings. I have thoughts. I have a mind. I have a brain. So what if I'm a little damaged? Does that mean I shouldn't know the warm touch of someone else? I'm not just something to pump and dump in. But when you get wrapped up in this hookup culture, you start to realize it's all you know how to do. And you see people who are in relationships. And it begins to make you feel like, why am I not deserving of that? It just became apparent to me that I have to start telling myself I am deserving of that. The part I'm sorry. The part that hurts is that I say it, but I don't believe it. It makes me just want to end my life. Maybe it's because I watched my parents fight so much growing up. I'm just doing me for now. I've never felt better, to be honest. I've never felt better. I think the reason I'm single still at age 32 is because I feel like there's no romance left anywhere, especially when it comes to these dating apps. Something I've completely given up on. It's probably my own fault for watching too many rom-coms. And this isn't a dig to people who've met their significant other online. But I feel like there's just no chemistry, there's no magic, there's no pop, there's no nothing. When you meet someone that way, at least for me, it's always disappointing. Always disappointing. To have to pick someone out, like ordering something from Uber Eats. I hope for the best. And I hope that they, at least, will look like their picture. Because let me tell you, <laughs> they often never do. I'm 29. No. No, I've never been in a relationship. I never kissed. I never held hands. I never had sex. Yes, I am a 29-year-old virgin. Yes, yes I am. I do feel like there's something wrong with that. But everyone at my church keeps telling me that it's a good thing I've waited so long. All the while, those same people telling me at my church, it's, at my church that it's a good thing, they're all married with kids, or they have relationships. 
Something tells me I need to find a new church. You would think they would help me find someone in the church, right? No. I feel like a trick or a joke is being played on me that I think is there. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's all in my head. But when everybody sees me, they just all start smiling and smirking. Is it in my head? Am I paranoid? Is everyone making fun of me? I just want a relationship. I just want to hold someone's hand. I want someone to go see a movie with. I want to sit at a table sometimes and have dinner. I don't want to be a 29-year-old virgin anymore, but I don't want to just give it to the next guy that comes along. My eggs are going to dry up. I'm going to dry up. I always told myself I don't want to have a relationship because of my mental health issues. I guess you figured that out. But actually, I might make them better, you know? It, 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 I mean, it could make them better. Not, not, not I, I didn't mean I. It might make them better. Um, I really want to be loved. I want someone to love me. I, I, I want to feel beautiful. I, I want to feel beautiful. Even if I don't think I am myself. But my coping mechanisms are stuck in my head and I do it automatically. Sometimes I do love being single, but when I look at my friends and I look at myself, they're all coupled up. I'll be honest, I get really, really jealous. Sometimes I get a little violent. Sometimes I slash tires. Sometimes I break car windows. Sometimes I just throw rocks at windows of houses when I see a man and a woman holding each other right in the window. Like, why are you broadcasting that crap to the whole world? Can't you close the damn curtains? Yeah, I get a little crazy sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. But I always feel a little bit better when I know I've disrupted something between them. <laughs> Believe me, any time I throw a rock, slash a tire, break a window, I make sure I marinate whatever I'm throwing in all my vibes. Because if I'm not going to be happy, I'm going to make sure I leave something behind that's going to leave you unhappy too. What's wrong with it? If you don't want me doing these things, maybe you should understand I don't want to be a 29-year-old virgin anymore. So, preacher's wife died. He's often in the chapel alone. I remember having a crush on the preacher ever since I was nine. It's been a while since his wife died. I think he's lonely too. <laughs> I feel like I've got some confessions to go make. But not from the other side of the uh, confession room. My confessions are going to be made. Right there. On the preacher's lap. <laughs> preacher? I have to confess. Turn me on. Damn, I hate my mind. So, I'm going on 43. And this is embarrassing because no, I've never been in a serious relationship. I didn't grow up in a home where I ever saw how two people make it work. So I don't know how to make it work. This is bad because I know how to hook up, but I tell you, I just feel so empty and I just wonder why can't I keep the woman around after the hookup, you know? I'm tired of doing the hookup thing. She says the slightest little thing and I get so annoyed and offended that I flip out. I gotta learn to control my emotions a lot more. Some of my guy friends make fun of me because they say I'm like a woman. I'm always getting so emotional. But their lives are together and figured out. I'm working on mine. They don't understand. That's why I get emotional. That's why I get all flipped out. Bent out of shape. They'll never understand, honestly. They never understand. After all, their parents and families married them to their cousins. And I'm not looking to marry my cousin. I'm young. I'm 19. 
and the boys my age either only want to hook up or they're looking for a future wife. Yeah, I know. At this age, yep, they're looking for a future wife. I know. Well, who's going to give them loads of babies? Who's going to take care of them? Who is going to take on all the responsibility while also working a full-time job? At the moment, I'm just pretty much accepting of the situation. I'm not going to be in a relationship. I guess until I'm a lot older. I'm not happy about it, but I'm trying to be happy about it so I can focus on my life at the moment. Although, I'm not completely against a relationship if the right person came along. I just wonder how they would deal with my herpes and my paranoid delusions. I wonder if I should tell them I've already had three abortions. Are those the kind of things you tell someone in a relationship or you don't tell them? I mean, I feel like if I didn't say it, I'd be lying. After all, I, I can't give someone herpes and not tell them. They have to know. I'm... I'm a 30-year-old female here. I'll be honest. I can't be bothered. I'm very content on my own. I like what I'm doing. And watching TV alone, movies alone. I like eating alone. What I like with no compromise. What I, what I like is no compromise or judgment. I'm pretty able to be selfish too. <laughs> I know, right? It sounds pretty bad. I'm very selfish about little things. Um, I go out of my way for my family though. I take care of my sick parents. I've done so for a long time. Hell, I've done it my whole life. My siblings, they never took care of my sick parents. They dumped it on me. I'm the youngest. I always been the responsible one. I don't need a partner. I don't need love. I don't need a love life. My life is full. My life is full enough. I'm in a relationship anyway in my own mind. I'm in a relationship with myself. It's not just one or the other person in my life. It's me, myself, and I. <laughs> yes, I smoke. I smoke a lot. I mean, I need something to cope. Anyway, it's all the people in family and their life, too. And my life, too. They seem like they're so happy. I see it. They're not happy. They're not happy. I'm good with what I have. No one's going to make me think any different. Besides, where my parents go, I have to make sure people know to bury me with them. Because when they're dead, they're not going to find two bodies. They're going to find three. And I'm fine with that too. I'm good with what I have. I promise I'm good with what I have. Six. <laughs> this is awkward. I never learned how to have a relationship. Never. I don't know the first thing about being in a relationship, and it really bothers me now because I'm worried about myself and my health, my mental health. No one has expressed interest in me, and I find it so hard how to express interest in someone else. I was in a foster home growing up and I was severely abused. And this plays a big role in why I struggle so much. You know what it's like to be a 36 year old man and try to battle with the memories of being touched by people that's not your real family and you couldn't get away from them. Who the hell would put up with me? Who would put up with me? trying to put up with myself 
I believe it can work, it can happen. I just don't know how. I need someone to help me. I need like a relationship coach because I really don't know what the hell I'm doing and I don't want to bring someone else into my crap. I haven't been axed out in 10 years and my foster family left me once I became an adult and all the damage they did. And there's nothing I can do now. I gotta stop drinking. I should probably stop smoking. I should probably stop watching porn. I don't know if I do believe life can be any better. I, I really wanna believe, but heck. I guess it is what it is. Dating really isn't easy for me. I'm actually scared of being alone. Scared of dying alone. Most of all, I'm scared of dying alone and not being found. God help me, please. I've been single since the dawn of time, let me tell you. <laughs> It seems I never had anyone claim me or had it go further than a few dates or a couple of rolls in the hay. I've always wanted to be in a really serious, you know, nice understanding relationship, but it never happened for me. So now I'm in my late thirties and I just don't see what's wrong with me. I don't see what I need to improve on. I'm so tired of a bunch of cliches. If you stop looking, someone will find you. Spare me. Spare me. I've been single for a long time now. I'm not sure how I'd be in a relationship. I've had too much time to myself, and I wonder if I'd be able to share my life with someone. Oh, boy. <laughs> I've, I've now just resorted to focusing on myself for now. You know, I'm trying to get my own crap together. It's not going so well, but I'm trying. I'm not giving up. Uh, to be honest, um, uh, life and uh, I'm trying to learn how to just genuinely enjoy life. I don't want to twiddle my thumbs anymore. I don't want to twiddle my thumbs waiting for someone to find me. So I grew up in an immigrant household where dating was not encouraged in the slightest way at all. God, <laughs> the force of the importance of education and Family priorities, not the importance of finding or being with a significant other, ever came to my home. It was never taught in my home. I graduated college. It was never taught in college either or my home. This is serious because I'm going on 28 and I feel like a weirdo. So here I am now, 28, graduated from college. I'm currently in med school. I've had a girlfriend, and between you and me, I had a boyfriend. That's just because I was trying to figure out if something was wrong with me or not. You know, you know what I mean. Um, I'll tell you this much, the boyfriend definitely wasn't for me. And uh, the girlfriend, well, she was more messed up than I was. That was years ago. Um. I don't even know if I can really call them, I guess I call them girlfriends and, you know, the one dude uh, relationships because we were hanging out for a little while, but ultimately it was just hookups and 
nothing before, nothing after, just meet, bang uglies, go our separate ways. We talk and text sometimes, but um, never really like I mean, shopping together or, you know, the stuff that normal people do. So it's really freaking awkward. <laughs> so awkward. I don't know how to relax. I don't know how to relax. I kind of hate my parents and family for this. They forced on me their views so much to the point that now I'm paying for it. I watch my friends keep on getting married and get in and out of relationship like it's nothing. I want to be committed to someone else of importance. I want to know who I am. Singleness is a season to be embraced and shouldn't be a thing that's rushed out of, you know, with everything that I've been through. After all, I'm in med school. So in my mind, I think if I can do med school, I can do a relationship. I'm scared to crap. I'm, I'm scared. I'm, I'm so scared, though. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Thank you very much, mom and dad. You wanted me in med school. You wanted me this and that. You got it. And now I'm suffering. I don't want to masturbate all the time anymore. I want to actually do it with someone and feel some type of love, some kind of connection. I want to know her name. I want to make her breakfast. I want to make her dinner. I want to love someone and I want to be loved. I'm going to be coming out of school making over $100,000 a year. And I won't have love in my life. It goes to show you, money won't make you happy. It'll make you comfortable, but it won't make you happy. Damn, I want to know so bad. What is it like to be loved? Can someone tell me? Will you tell me, please? Please. What is it like? How is this supposed to work? I'm 34. I've never been in a long-term relationship. I used to think that I was intently flawed, but years have passed and I've learned, or I think I've learned what I actually want. I live alone. And I like to right now. I've learned who I am as an adult. I have values. I work hard. I do whatever I want whenever I want. I'm not opposed to dating in any capacity or any way, shape, or form. You know, I'm not opposed to it. However, I'm not going to prioritize someone who doesn't bring something to the table. You got to bring something to the table. Let me be, let me be clear. Something means actual human qualities and communication. I need communication. I've worked too hard on my own self to waste any of my time. And I'm just getting too old for that. Hey. So I'm in my late 40s. And my longest relationship, it only lasted a few months. I have never been in love, never. I'm scared of it a little because I've never had it. I don't know what it feels like. It may never happen for me. I've been through a lot and I've been through a lot of soul searching. I've done social workers and therapy and counseling and my own research, too. I discovered that I have significant attachment issues. And to be clear, I really have an intimacy problem, too. I'm in recovery and have to make the effort every day to keep focused and keep going and be positive. The idea that not only do I deserve to be loved, but someone will love me back is kind of hard to wrap my mind around. I'm working on it. Also, 
If I never have a serious relationship, does that make me less than complete? Does it make me incomplete? Does it make me a failure? No. If at the end of the day, I can say that I no longer run from one night stands to two week toxic encounters for years long dry spells, all while beating myself up for every decision, then I guess I'm living the healthiest life I possibly can. Do you think I should just settle for that? I've never been in a proper relationship. Never. I'm 30. I never felt anything more <laughs> curious about. And uh, it might be fortunate coincidence because I've never had the opportunity. I'm not 100% sure why. I'm not sure why. Let me break it down for you. I make friends real easily. I make friends easily. Um, I just get scared. And I sabotage a lot because I get nervous. I get scared, I get nervous. People say I'm conventionally attractive. But I have the emotional range of a piece of bacon. Yep. Um, so as far as I can tell, while guys like me, they don't love me. If I don't reject the guy myself, I seem to average three dates and then they lose interest. I'm pretty sure I'm romantic. The level of intimacy that separates a partner from a friend, you have sex. <laughs> uh, so it's something I don't understand. I'm trying to. Honestly, I would just prefer the latter. Hey, what's up? So, all right, I'll get started. I'm a 28-year-old college student. I'm thankfully, I'm doing really good in school. My friends and my family don't put any pressure on me at all. They don't put any pressure on me. But every now and then, my mom will ask me, like, when are you going to bring home a nice girl? Or do you like boys? Um, which is awkward. That's usually when I want to just say back, Hey mom, why didn't you ever talk to me about being with girls? How to talk to a girl. How to ask a girl out. I hate when she says stuff like that because I just want to fire back at her. But I don't, don't want to waste that energy. My mom is one of those people she will pick at you. And if you let her, it'll turn into a fight real fast. That's my mom. <laughs> Can't change her. Anyway, um, I would like to be in a relationship someday. I might have to get away from my mom and my family first. Um, in fact, there is someone who I really, really like. I'm really, really interested in. And I think she's so... She's so cute. But what would she want me for? I feel sure she doesn't even see me. I feel sure I don't even exist to her. The other night I had a dream. I kidnapped her and <laughs> kept her in the woods in a cabin alone for years. Made her have my kids. And then one day she was found and I was gunned down and I died in the dream. I don't want that. I just wish I could exist to her. I just... I just wish she would see me. And I guess in a way she does. She says hi. We sit together in some of my classes. But I got friend zoned and... How the hell do you get out of the friend zone once you get in? I'm scared what I might become. I'm scared what I might turn into. Okay, I'm going to stop and go talk to my school counselor about this because 
I'm getting thoughts that are not good and I don't want to be that kind of person. I don't want to do the things that I'm thinking about now. I may need some anger management also. <laughs> oh, mom, mom, mom. Thank you, mom. Thank you. I blame you for this. I partly blame dad too. Work, 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 work. Why do guys have families and homes and children if they're not ever going to make any time to actually talk to their children and talk to them about life? I did my part as a son. Did my part as a kid. He failed me in building a communication with me where I could talk to him. I don't even know how the hell my parents met. Okay, I'm going to the school counselor now. I'm turning 35. I'm turning 35, and I'm drinking alone because I've never been in a serious relationship. I've been ghosted and lied to so many times. Almost every guy I've dated because I suffer from borderline personality disorder, chronic depression, anxiety, anxiousness, um, insomnia, and I was touched a lot as a child. So, I lost my virginity when I was seven. When I tried to tell my parents, they told me to stop telling lies and go play with my dolls. This hurts a lot to talk about. It's impossible for me to maintain a relationship, let alone friendships. I can barely even hold jobs. I can't control my emotions. I push people away, and I don't even like to. I don't even mean to. Yet I want people around. I'm trying to work on myself, but I always feel so dirty. I get flashbacks from what happened to me when I was seven, and I get flashbacks from every time it happened. I feel like that's all I am, it's just... That, that moment, those moments. Please don't make fun of me because you really don't understand what I'm going through. I have zero friends. I've been single my entire life. I don't know how to make things easier. I don't know how to make things happen. I have good days, I have bad days. I need someone who sees past my behaviors and sees me for who I am on the inside, underneath. Because it's just me trying to control my mind. It's so hard to talk to people because I just keep thinking and reliving how my parents told me to stop telling lies and making things up and go play with my dolls. I feel like I should be a virgin, and I feel like in my soul I am. But then when I touch myself down there, and I think about what happened, I feel that I'm not. Oh, Mom and Dad. Your little girl's a woman now, and I'm not okay. Thank you very much for being there. So I'm 25, and I've never been in a relationship. Um, in high school, I assumed no one wanted to date me because I thought I was just ugly, you know. Um, I'm not at a point where I do feel healthy enough to be in a relationship with anyone, and I don't hate myself like I did in high school, but it still hasn't happened, and I'm wondering when the hell is it going to happen, you know? I think it's good and healthy to know how to be in a relationship with someone, especially as life goes by and as it's unfolding. I just always seem to mess it up anytime I think it might be happening, and it's not good at all. It took me a while to recognize myself as desirable. 
It took me even much, much longer to realize that my mental health issues, including anxiety and depression, I don't go out anywhere when I can avoid it. I mean, I, I'm very avoidant, you know, I'm always avoiding things because I just want to protect myself. And I don't know what people intend toward me or for me. Um, it's not healthy for life. It's really, really not. Um, <laughs> I've been on dates and I will date again when I feel ready. Um, but also, I want my first love to be someone special, so I'm patiently, patiently waiting. Um, <laughs> I just don't know how much longer I'm gonna have to wait, and I, I don't, I don't know how this is supposed to work. This is, oh, this is annoying the shit out of me. Hey, I'm 29. Um, I'm 29 years old. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's keep. Can we start again, please? Thanks. It's funny to shake off some of the nervousness. This is, are you going to use this for like, you're not going to put my face in this, are you? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so yeah, we, we can start again. I'm 29. Um, I've been single my whole life for one reason or another. Um, why single people aren't broken, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if there isn't anything more wrong with us than with people who have been in relationships. Um, you know, life is absolutely great. And I'm not depending on finding a relationship to fill a void. More so, I would love to be with somebody who isn't looking and just let it happen. You know, someone who just lets it happen. Um, but I'm so, so lonely sometimes. I just want to go to the movies with somebody. I want to I want to be one of those people that can walk down the street and hold hands with someone and feel full. So I'm not trying to fill a void, but at the same time, I'm trying to feel full, if you know what I mean, I'm, I guess. Um, I feel ugly when I'm naked. I, I feel like my body is gross no matter how much I exercise, work out. No matter how clear my skin is, I just feel ugly when I'm naked. Maybe it's because my grandma vomited when I was eight years old and I ran through the house out of the bathtub with no towel on. And she just started vomiting. And when I asked her later, when I was a kid, Grandma, why'd you start vomiting? She told me, because your naked body made me sick. <sighs> yeah, so um, I guess I just stuck over the years. And any time I'm even naked by myself, I just... Oh, I want to cover my sw myself with a towel or a robe or a blanket. Um... I mean, I've got abs and everything, and I still feel so ugly. I don't understand why my grandma vomited. I was a, I was a kid. I don't. Okay. All right. See. Okay. Can we start again? Can we, can we start again? I think I said too much. I think I said too much. Can, let's start again. Let's start over. This is not, you're not going to put my face out there, are you? <laughs> 